Hey guys, I'm here with Lainey, the Cocker Spaniel, who goes home tomorrow from her boarding train with us. And before she leaves, I want to make a video for her family showing how to use the training, how to use the remote, when to press the button, what words to say, and how. And also a little bit of why. So we'll start with the most useful management tool, in my opinion, which is the crate. This crate's a little bit big for her, so when you're home, a little, a little smaller would be better, actually. Just enough room to stand up, turn around, and lie down uncomfortably. Uh, so maybe like half this. She has a bed in there, she can have multiple bones and shoes in there, bully sticks, rod, whatever, and a water bucket if you'd like to have one of those in there too. So it should be like her home, her home base, nice and comfy. Good girl! Now that she's in there, she should be calm. I see her wagging her tail. It should be a calm space. It's not about punishment, it's about management. She will be in here when you are not at home, of course, when you're going to the post office, when you're out with dinner, whatever you're doing, at work or school, she's in her kennel. Make it comfortable, give her a bone. If you're gone for very long stretches and nobody's home, get a dog walker for midday. Um, don't feel guilty about using the kennel because you'll feel guilty if you leave your dog loose and they eat something dangerous or if they hurt themselves when you're not home. Uh, you don't want that on your conscience. So keep her safe, keep her managed. When she's in there, if she's whining, pawing, spinning, barking, howling, if she's doing that for the first few days, leave the collar on at night or whenever you leave the house, listen and wait, and catch her in the act. So if she starts to whine when you leave, correction and wait. Because with the way that we train our dogs, they should feel that the correction means relax, calm down. It'll just put them into that state of mind like that. Good girl, nice job. But eventually they should be just happy to go in there and relax. We also feed our dogs in their crates. Um, really useful if you have kids in the house or other dogs or other animals. Even if your dog does not have resource guarding issues, which in my opinion Lane has not shown yet, um, it's a nice way to make the kennel a nice place to be. Good girl. When I open that door, she stays calm. In the morning, I come down from sleeping. I get her collar off the charger. I make sure it's on and paired with the remote. Then I reach in there, put it on calmly. I would usually, because I'm a trainer and you pay me to do this, shut the door again. I kind of set her up, remote in hand, open that door, step back. What does she do? Here, she's gonna be really calm and just wait to be called out because she's a good girl and knows my rules. At home, she might try to barge out. If she does that, correction, close that door gently, but firmly in her face. Don't hurt her, of course. Um, have a very clear boundary. Close the door again, step back, reach back in, open it up, try again until she's totally successful. You should be able to do this exercise, I call it the crate protocol, uh, open that door and leave the room. She should stay in there until she's recalled out. So unless you're at that point, your dog is not fully, fully understanding the threshold of the crate. So that's a hot tip for you. Get home for that first week, do that every day. You'll have a really, really good dog. They learn the threshold, they learn, oh, there's no point in rushing out of the kennel. I might as well just relax. It makes a huge difference. We do a day one with every dog here. And it's for a reason. So I open that door. She stays nice and calm. Good girl. I'm not telling her, wait, 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 stay, stay, stay. It should not be like that. Commands are great, but it should be all about the dog's knowledge of the way that you live with them together and what your rules and what your hard boundaries are. And again, here, she knows them very clearly. At home, she will push your boundaries. Do not feel like a failure. It's just a process that you need to get through. Good girl. We go over here, and to get her out of the kennel, I have a few options. I could tell her to break, which means She's free to run around and be wild, um, which is not the precedent I want to set with a threshold like a kennel door. So instead, I will recall her out. So I'll say C O M E. If she comes to me, good girl. If she seems confused, I'll go ahead and tap the T button here, T for tone. And that should mean come find your human and sit her down at my feet. Lainey, good girl. And her name does not mean anything but listen for direction. If I say Lainey and she shoots up and tries to run out, I would say N-O, tap, get her back in there, close the door, and reset it once again. Is it arduous? A little bit if your dog's struggling at first, but it's so worth it. So take the time every day to work on them. Lainey, come! So confusion. Good girl, the toe gets her right to me. Good girl, nice job. And she comes and she sits her down at my feet, like a good girl. She's a really nice dog. You can do a lot of things with her. Um, just stay with the trainer. She's going to be awesome. 
All right, so I get my dog out of the kennel. She's in a safety position, and I sit her down on my feet. Now I'll tell her, heel, good girl. And we'll kind of heel around the house a little bit. It might seem silly to heel your dog indoors because you're not like on a walk or anything, but what we're doing is setting the precedent, again, of how to move through the house. Look at her tail. Uh, so we're teaching her that instead of running from room to room like a wild animal, walk nicely. Follow your human when they ask you to follow. Just be relaxed. Good girl. When I stop, she'll automatically down or sit. I'll put her in a down right here so I can do some chores. When I stop, she sits. Good girl. Down. Nice job, mama. And I praise her because praise is also very important. If you never tell your dog they're doing the right thing, they won't want to do it. So make sure you're telling them, good job. Nice job. All right, Lenny did a really good job holding her calm down today while I was doing some chores. I'll leave her in here, stay, and come in this room and show you something pretty cool. Now, without saying a word, I can call her in here by tapping the T button, T for tone. So I could say C-O-M-E, she should come and find me, but if I just tap this. Good girl, right here, sit, super dog, nice job. She comes and finds me. Uh, really useful for hiking, for room to room recall when you can't see your dog. If you're upstairs and she's downstairs someplace, you want her up to you very quickly. Tap that, she'll find you. Make it a game. It's cool. Good girl. So from here, I can set it to place by simply, shh, patience. If I don't say it, she shouldn't get up. Laney, place. Good girl. Big jump. Point to the place bed. Now she runs over here and lays down on the ground. That's not right. I'll probably move closer and show her place. Tap on the stem, the black button over here, until she's up there. When she's on there, she should lie down automatically. Then you can praise her calmly. Now, place is kind of like the kennel, just without any walls. Still a very clear boundary. Now, of course, your place bed could be a little lower than this one. This one's six place beds stacked with each other. Yours will be about three inches off the ground. Uh, you can use a soft end as a place bed. It has very clear boundaries like this but paws out, you know, kind of dangling out, that's not place. Place means all the way on the place bed, down, and most importantly, relaxed. Good girl. Nice job. Now she can stay in the place bed for as long as, I'd say, three to four hours. Make sure you give her time to use the bathroom before you put her back on there. And of course, make sure that you're meeting her exercise needs because she is a young dog who needs to run and play every day. And you didn't get a dog to just have him on place all the time anyway, so use it every day while you're making dinner, while you're eating dinner, while you watch a movie or have game night as a family. Use it, keep them sharp, keep them calm. You have a really easy resource. Someone's at the door, place, relax as you enter that door. Good girl. Now for a while, I would recommend using a tie back in the window, so I can show you that right now. You put the leash on the dog, preferably a six foot leash on the dog and then shut it in the window. And it should be long enough that your dog can actually get off the place bed and make that mistake. So they're not being physically held onto the bed with a tight leash. Um, one, dangerous if you're not watching them. And two, kind of defeats the purpose of the training. She understands with or without a leash, get in the bed, stay in the bed, relax, right? But for those first few weeks or months, when you leave the room and your dog's on place, maybe you go to get your popcorn from the kitchen and you come back in and by the time you get back in here, She's across the room chasing the cat or in the kid's voice. With the tie back, the six foot leash shut in a window or around a heavy piece of furniture, she can make the mistakes. So you have time to come in and correct her for it. Because of course you would not leave the room without your remote, right? You can come in, correct her for it, and she had a learning experience. Instead of practicing bad behavior like chasing the cat, come in. But of course, eventually your dog will become really, really proficient with the place command. You don't need a tie back. Good girl. And like I said, you didn't get a dog just to have in one place. So to get her off, Lane, break! Yay! Now it's time for playtime, uh, snuggles, whatever you're gonna do with her, break. Good girl. Now even on break, she's not allowed to jump on you or nip you unless you actually invite her to get up. Good girl, nice job. I like to teach all my dogs the kind of hug cue since people are gonna do it. But if she jumps on me without being told, no, correction, 
and then remind your bread again. Break to be silly and appropriate this time. Hi, baby. It's a really nice little girl. I know that her family's gonna really enjoy her with her in training.